Hey guys, um, so now um, I'm going to do our regular 50 minute Pilates video, so um, workout. So um, all you'll need is a mat, I'm going to use some light weights for that, um, but um, you don't need to use them and grab some water. If you don't have a mat, you can use a blanket, you can use a towel, um, whatever, you, whatever you need to use to make this happen. Um, so grab that stuff. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit of um, what we're going to be doing here, and why we're doing this in this in this crazy time where um, where we have to make sure we keep exercising. Um, stress levels are high right now. Um, exercise is going to keep those levels down. It's going to keep our immune system um, strong, and it's going to keep us um, healthy during these times. So here at Body Zone, we're committed keep you healthy during this time. So we're gonna to try to keep these videos coming to you. We're also gonna um, put them on our um, app um, and um, keep it coming as much as possible. So um, Pilates, we're gonna do some Pilates today. So let's start off um, with just um, the mat underneath us or the towel underneath us or what have you. And let's just start with some nice big shoulder shrugs here. Releasing those shoulder blades off of those ears, right? Our stress levels are high. Let's release that stress. Two more here. Last one. We are going to do our solid 50 minute class here. So if you don't have time for it, do what you can and come back to it. We're live here and you can always come back to it later on Facebook or on our app. Two more. One more big circle, big circle. Get that tension out. Now let's take it the other way. Warming up that upper body. Warming up that upper and lower together here. All the way around. Big, big circle. Good. One more time. One more time. Get that. Get all those crunchy parts out. Good. Take your legs just a little bit wide on that mat. Feet facing slightly out. Fingertips nice and long. Opposite fingertip to opposite toe. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, switch. Good, that feels good, right? Move that body. Want to keep moving here. Pilates is so good for our bodies. You can always do it. Try to keep everything at your own level. I'll try to give you a lot of levels like we do in class. I'm going to try to stay whatever level is good for you. Make sure you're keeping proper form at home. One more time each side here. Oh, warm it up, warm up that tissue. Been sitting on the couch, right? Inhale, arms up tall, reach it, lengthen it out of that torso. A little baby back bend here. Open up those hip flexors. They're gonna get really tight during this time, so give them a good stretch here. Beautiful inhale, exhale, big forward bend. Release that back, release those shoulders, shake out that tension, shake your head no, shake it yes, let all of that tension come out of the body. And then when you're ready, Slowly start to walk your feet in, toe to heel, ankles together, knees together, hold that forward bend, breathe into that back body, and slowly roll up that spine, one vertebra at a time, stacking them one upon the other, roll your shoulder blades down and back. Beautiful. Let's come into our balance work here. So coming into balance, if you struggle with balance, you might want to find yourself close to a wall um, or a pole um, or whatever you have at home. Stable on your left leg. We're going to warm up our hip joints here now. So take that right leg up and over. Good. Making nice circles here, lubricating that ball and socket joint there. Breathing, inhale, exhale. Two more here. Last one. Good, and let's go the other way. Just opening up that hip. If you need to go a little longer, if that feels really good for you today, you can. Inhale, exhale, two more. One more. Beautiful, working on that balance. Core's nice and tight, relax those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, up and over. All right, opening up those hip joints. Keeping that mobilization in that joint. Two more here. One more. Good, let's go the other way, up and out. Open up that hip. Breathing into it. Good, feels good. Everybody doing good? All right. All right, relax your shoulders high out there. Inhale, stable on your left leg. We're gonna take that leg out to the side and then cross your body. So kind of really nice little swings for that leg. Stable on your right. Inhale, take it out and cross. Miss seeing all you guys in class, but 
Hopefully we stay healthy and we're going to be back all together soon. But for now, I'm glad you're here. Two more. Last one. Open up that hip. Whew. All right. Stable on your right. Relax those shoulders up nice and tall. Nice big inhale. Exhale. We take it up and cross. Beautiful. A little bit of our new way of life here, our new way to exercise. Right? We just got to make do. We got to keep moving. It's the best thing for us right now. Keep moving. Two more. I know it's what makes me feel sane. One more. Beautiful. All right. Shake it out here a little bit. Now I'm going to grab light weights, but remember, you do not have to have weights to do these with, okay? Stable on your left. Heel of your right foot to the toe of your left. Hips are square to center. We're going to take that weight or just your hand onto your thigh bone here. A nice big inhale. Exhale, we lift. You can also use a can of peas if you have them. Or a can of beans. Or nothing is fine too. You're just getting that light lift of that arm too, right? Kick out of that leg. Working that inner thigh. Working that medial quad. Love to work those medial quads. You all know I love to work those medial quads. Two more. Last one, hold it here, up nice and tall, chest is tall, hold it here, let's pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down. Good, stable on your right. Hips are square to center, heel of your left foot to the toe of your right. Nice big inhale, exhale, we lift. Now you all know, take my classes that my count's always just a little bit off, right? You can count on your own if you want to. Get them even or do the best we can, right? Three more. So try to not make it too crooked. Last one. Hold it here. Hold it up nice and tall. Hold it. Chest is tall. Let's pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stable on your left leg. Take your right leg behind you. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Bring your arms by your side. Make sure your back is nice and flat, core is engaged here. Stable on that left. We're gonna lift right leg behind you, push both the arms, breathing, back is flat. Working those hamstrings and the triceps together. Feels good, right? Four more, three more, two more. Last one, and switch. Good, feel that burn. Stable on your right. Left leg behind you, belly button pressing toward the spine. Same thing here on that other side. Just got a little bit more balance work to do. We're not going to make you do too much, but balance is one of those things. You don't use it, you lose it, right? So as well as fitness, we've got to keep moving. That's it. Keep pushing back. Three more here. Two more. Last one. And release. Good. One more thing here standing. So take it a little bit to the back of your mat. Bring your feet together. We're going to do some Pilates boxing here. So weights are up to the center or just your hands. We're going to take a nice big inhale. We're going to take arms out. We're going to take to that lateral front corner of that mat. Light lunge here. And then pull the knee up. Hold it for a two count and repeat. So when you're ready, coming in to those light lunges to the front corner. Pilates box those arms out. Lift it tall. Make sure you're holding that two count, right? That's where the abdominals are working. So we have these Pilates classes every Tuesdays and Fridays at Body Zone. We're going to keep you going with them here so we can get back open, so we can get this virus under control. We're going to stay healthy. Breathing. Keep it going. Good. Make sure you're not taking that, that knee too far over those toes. Make sure you're not putting pressure on that knee when you're lunging. Two more here. Last one, last one, let's hold it here. Let's hold that knee up nice and tall. Relax your shoulder blades, hold it here, hold it. Bring it up a little taller if you can for three, two, and one, release it down. Beautiful, shake it out a little bit. If you're on my pace, that's okay. Take it at your own pace, take breaks when you need to. Feet together, nice big inhale. Exhale, take that lateral step or lunge. If you're just coming on now, just join us whenever you're ready. Get some in here. And we'll try to keep them coming, keep the videos coming, keep the workouts coming.
coming, keeping you healthy. Breathing into it. That's it. Making sure you're not putting any pressure on that knee. If you're feeling any tweaks in that knee, just don't go as far into that lunge. You could just step too. There's always an option to make it feel right for you, for your body. Right? Two more. That's it. Last one here. Beautiful. Let's hold it up tall. Hold it up a little taller. Bring that knee up a little taller. Inhale. Exhale. Release it down. All right. Let's come. Release those weights down. Grab some water if you need it. We're going to take it into our plank and pike series here. We're going to transition into that work with some Pilates push-ups. So we're going to do three sets of five push-ups, okay? If you're not comfortable doing push-ups, that's okay. You can do them from your knees or just hold plank. When you're ready, inhale on the top. Feet are about six inches apart onto the mat. Reach out of that torso. Exhale, big forward bend. Feel that stretch, feel that length in that tissue. When you're ready, slowly so to walk it out. Hand over hand, coming into the push-up position. Drop to your knees if you need to. If you're on your knees, I want you all the way in your thigh bones, not directly onto your kneecaps, right? We're gonna get five push-ups here, down and up. Knees or toes, you decide. Five push-ups when you're ready. Elbows nice and tight by your side, like a chaturanga in yoga. Take your time with it, make it perfect. We got nothing but time right now, right? Walk it up. Oh, we said we wanted more time, didn't we? Heels down, nice forward bend, and slowly roll it up. Going to use that time wisely, right? Roll the shoulders down and back. Second set. Inhale, arms up tall. Reach it, lengthen it out of that torso. Exhale, big forward bend, and walk it out. Looking good, guys. Nice and tall, five push-ups here. Remember to drop to your knees if you need to. You can even hold plank, even for just one set. Whatever feels good for you, all levels. Anybody can do this. Walk it up. The beauty of Pilates is you see that same series of exercises and you work towards it. I'm gonna take that third set here, last set. Inhale, arms up tall. Exhale, big forward bend, and slowly walk it out, hand over hand. Drop to your knees if you need to. This is our final set here, so we're gonna take those five push-ups, and then we're gonna hold plank when you're ready. Elbows tight, keep them tight. And you can even drop to your knees for just a push-up if you need to. Whatever feels good for you today. Five push-ups, and then we're gonna hold that plank right down that center. Holding it here, pull that belly button toward that spine. If you need to, you can drop your elbows into a low plank at any time here. Holding that nice strong plank, breathing into it. We're gonna work from plank to pike here. So when you're ready, pull your belly button toward your spine, push your hips up, and settle your heels back down toward the ground. Inhale, exhale, back to center. Again, inhale, exhale, pull it up, push it back. Really opening up the backs of your legs here, backs of your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, up and back. And back to center. Let's get two more of these. They feel good here today. Opening up the backs of your legs, backs of your arms. Lift and push. Let's take one more here. Inhale, exhale, up and back. Hold it here, let's walk your hands a little closer towards your feet so you, most, you feel most comfortable in that downward dog or pike position as we call it in Pilates. Breathing into it here, we're gonna take a lunge series here. Really good again for those hip flexors, getting tight right now, sitting on the couch a little too much. We're gonna take that left leg up, hold it nice and tall, look through your hands and bring that foot between those hands. Now if you can't get it all the way there, Use your hand to help you. Drop that knee back down in the back and sink right into that front leg, breathing into it. Good, and if you can, if you're balanced, you can balance here, come up onto that top knee and sink a little bit further into it. Breathing into it, opening up into that hip flexor. Take that outside arm up and lengthen here. 
really important. Stretch those hip flexors. So good for your lower back. Inhale, exhale, bring it back down. Tuck your back toe under and send that leg straight back up in the air here. And release it down. Let's take the other leg for the same thing. Nice big inhale, take it up and swing it through. Or bring it there by any means necessary. Take that back toe down. Let's sink right into that front knee. And then if you can, come up and sink a little deeper into it. Come nice and deep into that hip flexor. Take that outside arm up. And right through the here. Breathing into it. Breathing into it. Good. Inhale, exhale. Take both those hands down. Tuck that back toe under. And send that leg straight back up in the air. So we're going to come into scissor kicks here. Bring it down and kick. So if you need to rest before coming into these kicks, make sure you do it. Anytime you need to rest. Make sure you do it. You can always come down and come back up. Enjoy it when you're ready. Listen to your body. Breathing. Two more sets. Pilates can be really good for your body, but you always have to listen to it. One more set here. Big kicks. Beautiful. And now release down to your knees, and you're going to push your hips down into our shell stretch to rest. Pushing your hips down towards your heels, Breathing into your back body. Take your fingertips now. Walk them to the left side. Dropping your right hip down towards your heels. So you feel that nice opening in the side of your ribs through there. Those start to get really tight. Lengthening through that rib cage. And then walk them back the other way. Dropping the opposite hip down towards your heel. Really feeling that stretch. Lengthening and strengthening. Beauty of Pilates. Keeping it going here. Good. Back to center. All right. We're going to do a little bit more plank work here today. So we're going to just start with our tall plank with some alternating knee ends here. Now, if you're not comfortable doing it from plank, you can always do it from all fours. You can also do it from your elbows if you need to. So when you're ready, coming up and take alternating knee ends right down that center. Straight down that middle. Keep it going here. If you need to rest, make sure you do it. Breathing into it. We got a whole 50 minute class free here today. Good stuff. Working our upper body, working our core, working our legs. One more set here. Drive those knees in. Good. Hold that plank for me one more time here. Breathe into it. Nice big inhale. And exhale, release it down. We're going to come into our low plank here with some tap outs. Now, if you're not comfortable doing it from plank, you can either hold plank or you can do it, um, or you can do the tap outs from here, okay? You can either hold low plank or do the tap outs from there. So interlock your fingers for a nice wide base here. Coming up into that low plank, nice and strong down that middle. Holding here is enough for you. Stay right here. If you can, tap it out. Oh, yeah. I just feel that stress melt away. 24 hour news feeds going away. Social media taking a break. Just you and your muscles. Two more. One more. Beautiful. Let's come all the way down here. Let's bring your hands out to the outside here. Pushing into the pads of your hands here. I want you to pull your belly button toward your spine making your back flat here. So if you pull your belly button towards your spine, you make that back flat. I want you to lift your knees slightly off the mat. And then from here, I'm gonna do a single hamstring curl. So if you feel pressure in your lower back with this, just release that upper body down and keep doing the exercise. Feel pressure in your knees, release those knees down. Always an option, right? Feel right for your body. Oh yeah. Keeping those hamstrings strong, so important. Keep those hamstrings strong. There's ways to do it. You do squats and lunges all day, right? But hamstrings are hard to work at home. This is a great way. This, and we'll do bridging later, is a great way to work those hamstrings from home. Breathing into it. Two more. One more, alternating. Beautiful, all right, we're gonna come back up in to our tall plank here. So we're gonna come into our tall plank and we're gonna work in side plank just a little bit here. So this can be done from your elbows as well. We're gonna do it in tall plank, but just know 
You can modify it into low plank. Well, not really modified, it's just easier on your wrists if you have wrist issues. So from our tall plank, we're gonna rotate our right hand underneath us. Rotate our bodies, bringing the opposite arm up. Level one, I want you to bring a knee down so that that feels okay for you. Level two, keep a staggered leg. Level three, stack it on top. Holding side plank here. And then if you can, we're gonna take it up one more level for you. Lift that leg and lower. Beautiful. And bring it back to that middle plank. So if you want to rest in between sides, you can. I'm going to turn my back to you for just a minute. We're going to take the other arm underneath us and rotate it up. Take that bottom leg down if you need to. Keep it stacked. Uh, keep it staggered if you need to, or stack it if you can. And then lift that leg if you're able. Breathe in here. All right, a little muscle shake there. Let's take it back to that middle plank. We're going to hold here middle plank. One more plank here today. Just hold it. We're going to rock it forward and back. So nice and neutral, we're going to come up onto those toe bends when you're ready. Straight ahead. Body's in neutral. Three more. Two more. Last one. Plank is so good for us. If we do nothing else, we can do plank every day, right? Just do plank every day. Tabletop position, we're gonna come into some work in tabletop here. Working those rotators and working those hamstrings again like we talked about earlier. Nice big inhale, back is flat, core is engaged. We're gonna take a leg up right behind us. That's it. Yeah, Sunday afternoon here, we're losing track of days though, right? Breathing. Three more, two more. Last one, hold it here and pulse it here. Keep pulsing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take that same leg. Let's take it up to the side. Try not to let that opposite hip drop down. Try to keep that back nice and flat, towards engaged. If you struggle with the wrist, you can come into a closed fist here if you need to. Takes the pressure off just a little bit. Breathing into it. Or you can be down on your elbows if you really struggle with your wrist. Always an option. Breathing here. Two more, we're gonna hold. One more, hold it here. Now let's bring that knee towards your elbow. Little pulse, that's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down, good. And staying in that tabletop here, let's get a little cat-cow stretch here before we go to the other side. Feel really good, nice big inhale. Pull your belly button towards your spine, push your back up, drop your head and neck. Push it, push it, push it. Stretch that spine and then drop that belly. Open up that chest. Good, one more time, one more time. Breathing in, push it up, and drop it down. Opening up that chest. Beautiful, stable down the center. Back is flat, core is engaged. We're gonna take that other leg up and lower. Inhale, exhale, breathe in here. Full body workout here for you. <clears throat> no equipment required, just you and your will. Keep moving. Breathing. Back is flat. Course engaged. Always working from that core, that powerhouse. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it here and pulse it up. That's it. Keep pulsing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. And let's take it out to the side. Lifting and lowering here. Breathing into it. Back is flat. Core is engaged here. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. Knee to elbow. That's it. Nice pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, a little bit of back work here, right? Gotta keep that back strong and healthy. Come all the way down onto that mat. We're gonna lift everything here. So back, um, head stays in neutral. Pull that belly button toward that spine so your back is nice and flat here. Pull that belly button up, head stays in neutral. We're gonna lift everything down that center. And lower when you're ready. Lift and lower. Keep it going. Keep your head in neutral, which means keeping that chin tucked Lengthening out of that crown of that head. 
Always just thinking about that neutral spine. We keep it in every position. Three more and we're gonna hold to flutter kick. Two more. Last one. Hold it here, flutter kick those arms and legs. Hold it here, five, four, three, two, and one, release it down. Let's bring our arms, um, we're gonna do a little bit of arm work here in our, um, for our backs as well. So when we lift it this time, we're gonna squeeze those arms back by our side and then release it all the way back down. On the last one, we're gonna hold it here and pulse. All right, ready? Here we go, nice big inhale, lift, squeeze those shoulder blades and release again. Working those lats, posterior shoulder girdle, all those muscles, keeping those shoulder joints healthy, working that back. Keep it going here, get a good sweat on. Hope you are too. Sweating is so good, exercise is so good. Lowering those cortisol levels, that stress brings up, keeping our immunity nice and high. Any sickness away, any viruses away. One more here, hold it here and pulse. Elbows towards your heels, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down. Let's push back into that shell stretch again just to take that pressure off of that lower back before we come into our sideline work. Breathing into your back body. Great stretch here for the hips and the back and shoulders. Good, all right, so let's come into a little bit of sideline work here. So I'm gonna grab a, a weight, and you can too if you have some at home. Um, if you don't, that's okay. You're still gonna get a nice shoulder work with your arms, even without the weight. You're gonna take a 90 degree angle with your legs, and for your upper body, you can either be on a long arm down or onto a low elbow. Hips are stacked, one upon the other here. You all know that I take my class all the time. That this is my, one of my favorite exercises, clamshell, external rotation. So important to work those deep rotators of the hip and shoulder, keeping it, all the joints healthy. Breathing here. I do miss you all. It's not as fun to teach to myself as it is to teach to you guys. Three more. Two more. Last one, but we must keep going, right? Hold it here, hold it up, let's pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down, take your arm long. You're still stacked, nice, and, nice big inhale. Let's lift here and lower, that's it. Upper and lower, working together, up it on a string, breathing, beautiful. That's it. Three more. We're gonna come out of this fitter than we were before. We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep, we're gonna make it a positive thing. Three more, two more. Last one, hold it here, extend your leg out, extend your arm nice and long, let's pulse here, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down. And then let's extend our legs straight out here on the mat. You're gonna take your top leg, bring it either to the front or behind. Not really easier or harder there. Just kind of a personal preference. We're gonna work that inner thigh here a little bit. Nice big inhale. Exhale, we lift and lower. Breathing. Always breathing. It's the hard part. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. Four more, we're gonna pulse. Three more, I'm feeling that. Two more. Last one, hold it up, hold it up, pulse it. Ready, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down. Go ahead, take that top leg up. Now let's do one more here for inside line before uh, we move to some seated work. So let's do our side passe. That's one of my favorites too. 
Um, you can stay down on your low elbow or you can come up tall if you want to. If you're up tall, you want to keep a nice triangle between yourself and the mat. Nice big inhale. We're going to point your toe as you come up. You're going to hard flex it as you come back down. Inhale, lift, and lower. We'll try to make all of our Pilates that we take for you guys just a little bit different. It is the same series of exercises, which is nice too. Try to switch it up and make sure we get all the best exercises in. Breathing. You, know, you don't need a lot of space for this. Three more. Two more. Key West with a limited space. One more. Good, and release it down. All right, so let's go to seated before we go to the other side and side line. So coming into seated, um, I'm gonna bring both of my weights to each side with me because we're gonna do a little bit of work in seated with weights. Once again, if you don't have weights, that's okay. Legs extended. Make sure you take all that fleshy part out and you're sitting up nice and tall on those sits bones. Legs are a little bit wide, feet flex towards you. We're gonna reach our pinky finger toward our pinky toe, leading with our chest here, all right? Up nice and tall, spine is tall. Take your arms wide. We're gonna do a double exhale release to either side. Nice big inhale. And we rotate and we're gonna reach for one and two, reaching deeper into the stretch on each exhale. Oh, that feels really good for the backs of your legs. Breathing here. Opening it up. Lengthening and strengthening here. That is the beauty of Pilates. Long, lean, happy, healthy muscles. Oh yeah. That's it. A couple more here, it feels so good. One more each side. We're gonna do a little spine twisting. Here as well, lubricating that, that spine. So take your legs in together. Now, if you're not comfortable with your legs extended, you can come into our, uh, our diamond shape with our feet together and our knees open wide at any time. You can use that diamond shape at any time if you get tired and those legs extended. Arms out wide, we're gonna do a double exhale once again, release to either side. So inhale center, and let's double exhale. When you're ready. Roll out your shoulders for a minute. 
Take those arms right back up, and we're gonna C-curve scoop again, and we're gonna take one arm down and lift. Right side down and lift. Good, C-curve scoop, left. That's it. Good, C-curve scoop, right. And center. Ooh, yeah. All right, feels good. Feels normal. It's good to feel normal in this crazy, very unnormal time. We're just feeling normal. Just feeling that body work. That's it. Two more sets here. You got it. That's it. Oh, yeah. One more set. Whew. It's really the last one for my arms. I'll tell you that. Last one here. All right. Release it down. Feet together, knees open wide. Let's give it a nice light forward bend here. Breathing into your back body. Let's kind of rock it side to side here. Kind of releasing those hips. And then take that forward bend. Breathing into it. Oh yeah, feels good. Stretch that body. Oh yeah, all right. So now we're gonna take side line the other way. Let's see if I can remember which side I did. Right. 90 degree angle with your legs. Hopefully you remember which side you did. So you don't get crooked. You know, crooked enough these days, right? So 90 degree angle once again with those legs, taking that weight in that top hand, working those external rotators again. Nice big inhale. Exhale, we lift. Nice isolated rotation here for the hip and the shoulder, breathing into it. That's it. Good, two more, we hold to pulse. Ready, here we go. Bring it up, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take that arm into extension. Up nice and tall, we're gonna lift and lower. Doing so good, guys. We're gonna keep going here. Got a little bit more to do today. And then you can go back to snacking on the couch or Maybe you won't even feel like sacking on the couch now because you've had such a great workout. Three more, two more, or maybe a healthy snack. Last one, good, and release, good, and extend it out. You know, if we're all stuck at home, we wanna try to be as healthy as we can. Leg forward or back, whichever feels good. Inner thigh work here again. Nice big inhale, lift and lower. Breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing. This is one thing we can have control of in everything that feels just on, out of control, right? Is our fitness. We're in control. You're in control. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it here and pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, I love the burn of the inner thighs. All right, stack that leg. You can stay down on that low level. You can come up tall for this last one inside line. We're gonna point that toe as you come up and heart flex it down. So focusing on that outer thigh on the way up, that inner thigh on the way down. Great way to work those inner and outers here. Lots of ways to work those. Breathing, you concentrate, you focus on those muscles. All stabilizing those hips and knees, creating a healthier, you. Three more. Two more. Last one. And release it down. Good. All right. So let's come to seated here. Just a little bit more work here. Let's come to seated. Um, seated C curve sit ups. Um, some of my favorite stuff here. Uh, I love seated work. Be done from anywhere. Now, if, if you're, if it's too much on your back, you can always put a blanket there. Or, um, something else, you can go less far. We're gonna take a C-curve sit-up. I'm gonna show you the hardest level first. Or you can go halfway, or you can go halfway using your hands to support you. Or you can go all the way and use your hands to help you come up. But try not to swing on this, okay? Nice big inhale, lay that spine, lay it down one vertebrae at a time. Think about that spine, those vertebrae. Now lift back up one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful. Now remember, you can use your hands. We could go halfway. Stay at your level. Maybe you do this for the next 
while everybody breaks her home. And by the, by the time we come back to class, show me all the improvements. So we'll be back here. Breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. Again, we'll try to keep these videos coming for you. Two more. As much as it's safe for us, to. Last one. Beautiful. All right. Let's take those legs into extension. Fingertips facing your buttocks here. So we're going to lift those legs here. So if you struggle with your back or you have back issues or if you just feel the pressure in your back, you can drop to your elbows at any time. Okay? When you're ready, up nice and tall, back is flat, core is engaged, we're going to lift those legs. Nice big inhale. Slight bend in those elbows. Back is flat. We lift. And lower. Remember, you can be on your elbows if you need to. Lift and lower. Beautiful. Four more. We're going to hold it there. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it up. Hold it up. And we're going to create a whip with our legs here. So bend your knees and take them around and back together. Then, good. This is a nice hip opener here. Beautiful. Three more. Creating that opening of those hips. Nice whip. Two more here. If you need a rest, make sure you do it. Last one. Beautiful. All right, feet together, knees open wide, forward bend to the top. We're going to do a little bit of reverse plank work here. So legs extended, last thing here in seated, and then we're going to go all the way down onto our backs. So feet are extended, fingertips facing your buttocks. We're going to lift into reverse plank. If you struggle with your wrist, you can come into a closed fist from here. If you really struggle with your wrist, you can come down onto your elbows and push up from here. Okay, you're just looking at the nice tricep press, even if you're on your elbows. All right, here we go. When you're ready, feet go down, hips come up. Nice big inhale. Exhale, we lift. And lower. Good. And lift. And lower. Beautiful. Again, lift. And lower. Good. Three more we're going to hold. Two more. Last one. You got it. Hold it here. Stabilize. Your left leg, and if you can, you don't have to do this if you're not comfortable, you can just hold here, stabilize your left leg, and lift your right. Whew, all right. Stabilize that right leg if you can, lift your left. Good, let's try it one more time here. Nice big inhale, lift, and lower. Last one here, whew, feel that burn, and lower. Good, shake those arms out. Oh yeah, feels good. All right, from our roll back, straight into our um, single straight leg, all right? So from our roll back, straight into our single straight leg. When you're ready, slowly roll it back. You're gonna bring a leg up, holding to the, either the back of the knee or the back of the ankle. Back is flat, core is engaged. Make sure you get that back nice and flat on that mat. All right, here we go. Inhale, exhale, switch. If this is too much on your head and neck, make sure you release it back down to the mat. And then just keep doing it. You can always release it down Bring it back up or you can keep it down. Whatever feels good for you today. It is your workout. Your body. You are in charge. One thing we have control over, right? That's it. Oh, yeah. Lengthening and strengthening here. I love it. Feels so good on those hamstrings. One more time here. Good, let's hold that right leg up here. Hold that right leg up. Release your head and neck down, bring your arms by your side. We're gonna draw a circle with this top leg here. So we're gonna try to keep our hips from rocking. We're gonna draw a circle. If your hips are rocking too much, you can bend the knee of the straight leg on the mat to make it a little easier. As if there's something heavy on your hips, holding them down, you might feel just a little bit of congestion in that hip, and just kind of rotating, creating just some lubrication in that joint. So good to do. Movement of that joint. Good. Other way. Rotate it. Good. Use a core. Use your tummy. Breathe into it. Two more. Last circle here. Good. Hold that leg up. Hold to the back of the knee or the back of the ankle. 
Come on up, back is flat, core's engaged, inhale, exhale, switch. Good, we're gonna do a couple more exercises here. So we're running low on time. My flies passes always go just way too fast for me. They just, I love too many of these exercises. So we're gonna keep them coming to you. I'm gonna get a couple more here though today. Breathing into it, breathing into it. Good, two more here. Last one, we're gonna hold that left leg here. Hold that left leg, release the right leg down, bring your head and neck down, arms by your side. We're gonna draw that circle once again here. Take them around. Nice circle. Back is flat, core is engaged. Oh yeah. Lubricating that hip joint. Good, other way, creating motion in those joints. So good. Feeling normal. Strengthening that body. Two more. One more. Beautiful. Bend that left knee in. Go ahead and grab a hold of her. We're going to come into single bent knee here. Take your head and neck up. Let the other leg hover right over top of that mat. If you come a little higher, it is a little easier. So you can do that as well. Inhale, exhale, switch. And once again, if your head and neck gets tired, just release it back down to the mat. Keep doing the exercise. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing into it. All right. Feels good. A couple more to go here, guys. We're going to work that core here. Good. You guys are always wanting me to work core and Pilates, right? Here you go. Two more. Last one. Good, hold both knees in, hold it right here. We're gonna take our hands to the outside of our um, head and neck, just slightly supporting it. Back is flat, core is engaged. We're gonna come right into our crisscross, rotating here. Big elbows here, nice big rotation. Working those obliques. We'll try to work those obliques a little more next time for you. Breathing into it. Nice wide elbows. Remember to take breaks when you need to. Just come into a rest and then come back to it as soon as you're ready. Don't rest for too long though. Breathing into it. Each time you'll rest for less, right? Two more. Last one. Good, let's come right into double straight leg here. So take your legs up nice and tall. Let's take a Pilates knee in this too at the end, at, on the outside if you can. Just rotating your feet out just slightly. Looking right at those knees if you can. Release your head and neck if you need to. Let's take those legs down just about six to second, seven inches. And let's bring them right back to center. Lower and lift. Keep it going here. And lift. And lift. Three more here. Two more. And we're going to pulse the upper body. Last one. Hold it here and let's pulse the upper body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it down. Bring your feet onto the mat. Back is flat, core is engaged. We're going to end with some bridge work today and then a light relaxation as well, just because that'll feel good for you today. All right, let's lift those hips up. One vertebrae at a time, coming into that modified bridge. Push up onto those shoulder blades. Open up those shoulder blades. Release that tension there. Breathe into your body here. Inhale, exhale. Good, slowly lower. Let's do three more here with two feet on the floor. And then we're going to do four on each leg. If you're not comfortable doing a single-legged bridge, just keep two feet on the floor. Lower that spine and lift that spine. Good. Stabilize your right leg if you can. Lift your left. Try to keep your knees parallel to each other here and slowly lower and lift. And lift. Two more. Press. One more. Remember, you don't have to be in a single leg. Just keep going with two feet on the floor if you need to. Stabilize your left, lift your right. Keep your knees parallel if you can. Lower and lift. Two more. Last one. Press, good, replace that foot. Hold those hips up one more time. Breathe into that back body and slowly lower that spine. Beautiful, bring your knees into your chest. Give them a nice big hug. Give yourself a hug here. Rock your body side to side and around in that circle, giving yourself a nice light massage on that lower back here. Other way. 
Good, and then when you're ready, here, we're gonna slowly let your legs come down onto the mat, one at a time here. Shaking them out, shaking them out here. Bring your arms by your side, palms face the ceiling. Close your eyes just for a moment for me here. We're just gonna close our eyes for a moment here. Taking some nice, big, deep breaths into your body. Feeling that whole body feel nice and tingly, knowing that you have worked your body here completely from head to toe. Knowing that you've taken this time out for yourself today to work your body completely. Inhaling and exhaling, use that breath. Let's take a nice big inhale into your chest, into your belly, and exhale. Blow the air all the way through your body. Relax here. Good. Keep that breathing going. Inhaling and exhaling. Softening your body onto the mat here. Taking just these few moments for yourself to just let everything go. Let your brain just be empty for a moment. If you can, just let it just be empty of all this craziness going on in the world around you. Just let it all Go. Breathing. Be alone with your breath and your body for just this moment. Before you have to go back into your day, just take a few moments, even if it's just a few moments here, to just relax.